Hola cabineros, we're Cafe Con Leche Travels. My name is Travis. I'm David. This week we're going to the Merida English Library Home and Garden Tour. And then afterwards we're going to talk to the staff at the library and find out all the cool programs that they offer the community in Merida. So let's go. So this home and garden tour is something that I wanted to do for a while, but it was closed because of COVID. But you get to go to three beautiful colonial homes down in Central. I cannot wait to see them. So the best way to book this is to go to their website and you sign up for the date that you want. You'll also have to be able to prove that you have a vaccination card and that's it. The event starts with a really interesting presentation by a library volunteer who gives some history on Merida. Then we were split into two groups and walked about 10 minutes to the first house on the tour. Like most homes in Centro, you can't tell from the outside what's waiting for you on the inside. This is Betsy, who was kind enough to open up her home to the tour, and she had an iPad available showing the before pictures so we could really appreciate the incredible transformation. Are you ready? We could not believe what she did with this space. Shout out to Betsy's team for doing such a great job of bringing the outside inside and making a space that we just wanted to hang out in all day. Both bedrooms are in the back of the house past the pool. While in the front of the house, upstairs, Betsy's created a home studio, which was a whole vibe and an amazing space to work from home. The second house on the tour was right around the corner and it was still festively decorated for the holidays and we were not prepared for how much house there was for us to see. My favorite part about this house was the giant pool out back. It was really hard not to jump in, but I resisted.
This house had such a classic charm and so many spaces to relax and entertain, you almost forget that you're right in the middle of Central. We just walked by the first place we ever stayed. That was such a crazy moment. Just a trip down memory lane. Yeah. You guys remember that door? Because we do. The third and final house on the tour had a pretty plain exterior, but just wait till you see what's behind these doors. The main living room was filled with art from years of traveling, and the owner said she was definitely not afraid of a little color. The living room opened up onto my favorite part of this property, which was its enchanting garden and pool area. Look at this space. two casitas on the property, one in the back, one in the front, that are listed on Airbnb. So when you get to Merida, you can experience this oasis for yourself. That was so fun. So fun. And so like, what? <laughs> it's wild how down in Centro, you don't know what's beyond any of the walls. It looks wow. like a whatever house from the outside and then you walk in and it's a full palace. Yeah, I remember when we lived down there for the first month, we would always walk by houses and think, I wonder what's behind those doors. It's probably some huge mansion situation. And today we got to see. Yeah. Let us know what your favorite was. The first, second, or third house. We have our favorite, but yes. you know, we liked them all. <laughs> and now we're gonna go back to the library to talk to Alfonso, who's the program director so he can share with us what's going on at the library. Let's go. Well, good morning. My name is Alfonso Lopez. I am the community engagement and outreach coordinator here at the Merida English Library. The library is a spot for everybody, for foreign people, for local people to get to meet and to know the city. So of course it's not just books, it's not just DVDs, it's also a center of entertainment, it's also a center of, well, of community. It's been open this last season after the COVID, but it's way before the 1990s. So there are people with a lot of history here in the library. The library has been renewed. And of course, when people come here after the COVID pandemic or closing, they are surprised with these new changes and the new programs that we're having here at the library. On Mondays, during this year, we have Conversaciones con Amigos. It is a great chance for local people to connect, normally online, and get to practice to talk with different hosts, which are volunteers of the library, and they could practice their language. Now, this 2022, we're having Conversaciones con Amigos here in person at the library. So it's going to be a big challenge. Everybody wearing the face mask, but having this experience of interchanging their histories or their, uh, their language with a uh, native English speakers. It is actually a language exchange, yes, because there are people with different levels, but we try to match the level so we can have a nice conversation in each table. But of course, a, pe a person that would like to exchange English for Spanish and vice versa, it is always a good opportunity to do so. Another option that we can ha that we have is on Tuesdays we have house and uh, mill house and garden tour where we will meet here at the library and we have a talk like you had today and then you're taken to three different places around Centro. So you will get to know about history, about architecture, design and decoration and meet these beautiful renewed houses here in Centro. On Wednesdays we have mail lecture series which here is an opportunity to listen to an expert speaking of different or a variety of topics including archaeology, cuisine that is on Wednesdays evenings at 7 p.m. and it is a free admission 
here at the library. Currently, on Thursdays, we have a series of yoga with Alma Duran. She's an, a certified yoga instructor, and we're having a series of yoga every Thursdays from 9.30 to 10.30. So it, it's non-acrobatic yoga. If you haven't practiced yoga for a while, it is a very good opportunity for you to come here at this beautiful shading in the, in the library uh, patio and practice some nice and calm down yoga. Also, on Thursdays, the first and the third Thursday of every month, we have the Santana Gallery Tour, which is a moment where we will meet at Santana neighborhood at the, by the fountain, and then we're taken to a walking tour into different galleries. We could get we could get to meet our the gallery owners, the artists, and of course the beautiful art around the center. That's happening every first and third Thursday of the month. One of the biggest events that we're having at the library is the male wine tasting. It's an opportunity as well to taste four different wines from the world. In this case, in January, we're having the wine tasting themed with Spanish wines and Spanish tapas. So their committee is putting a big effort to bring this big experience to everybody who will buy or purchase some tickets here at the library. And it's happening in a beautiful house here near in Santiago. So you will get to taste different wines, try some tapas, uh, get to mix with different people, and of course have a wonderful evening. What else? On Saturdays, every second Saturday of the month, we're having story time, where we invite the tiny members or students, young adults to come over to the library and enjoy a moment of a story. A volunteer will tell or will read a book to the tiny members and afterwards we will have a very fun arts and crafts activity. So it's like a fiesta, it's like a party here happening at Mill. Well, the library is open normally from Monday to Saturday from 9 to 1 p.m. And if you just come over, you will be taking your temperature, You will uh, somebody will put, put gel in your hands, and you can get your membership here at the library. There are different options. If you want your individual membership, it will cost 300 Mexican pesos. But if you wanna have a family membership for four or five uh, members, it will cost 400. If you're a student or a tiny member, it has the cost of 100 Mexican, 50 Mexican pesos, and it has the during of a whole year. So that includes all the material in the library. Of course, it's a library. We have books, we have puzzles, we have the DVD collection, and yes, all. you also have a special discount on the different events that we have in here at the library. Be beginning December, we had a brunch for volunteer appreciation, because the library is held or is supported by the different volunteers that are around here at the library. So we always and constantly need help of different volunteers, whether if you're in town for a couple of days or for a whole month or for a whole season or for life, uh, your help will always be appreciated here at the library. If you want to become a volunteer, you can reach us by any means, by telephone, by, uh, by email, and we can always find something you can help us with. We normally work with different uh, charities, or in this December, we were working with Refectorio Restaurante. They are a restaurant downtown where they serve cook and serve a whole meal for just 10 pesos in Centro for people that can't afford it. So we raised canned and uh, dry food, and we're going to take them to Refetorio uh, just as a part of supporting our community. That's one of the, of the jobs we do. Also, well, the Conversaciones con Amigos, which is free admission, is another way to reach out to community. And we're all constantly looking for opportunities to reach out to the local community so that we could be all involved. The community is also made out plants, so the library is open as well in this green area, beautiful plants that are available for you. So if you don't want to buy any books or don't want to participate in any of the events, there is always a plant for you. Beyond the programs and the events, seasonally we're having bazaars where we also receive different local vendors that will bring their amazing products. We are normally handcrafts, clothes, art, and we receive also people from our community that will purchase them objects. So we also support the circular economy where your money stays within the community and we support each other. That's another thing we do here at the, at the library as an effort to support our, our local community. And if you want to find more 
more about us, you can follow us on social media as Merida English Library on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. And to find more about the events, programs, and how to become a member, please visit the website, which is MeridaEnglishLibrary.com. Thank you so much to Alfonso and everyone at the library for being so hospitable and letting us know all the cool things that are going on. Yeah, and we met so many fun people on the tour. <laughs> Shout out to the people that <laughs> watched the channel that said, hey. Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> but if you can't tell, the Merida English Library is such an amazing resource for travelers, for locals, for any combination of the two. If you're in town for a week or a year or a life, you should definitely check them out. They have so many things going on and it's such a great way to meet people. Yeah, and we always try to share with you ways to get involved. This is the perfect place to do that. We come out with new videos every Thursday, so make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to get the notification of when we are coming out with something else new for you. All right, here comes our tagline. Hasta luego. We'll see you next time.